Hi everyone, welcome back. I updated my chalkboard. Um, yes, 14th was pounding, didn't have that. 15th was draping, didn't have that. 16, today we're gonna do a press form. And this, I saw this on YouTube, actually that's how I found out about um, how, to, how to press a bowl. And I'll put that link below because um, the gal did it really well. She did a real good demonstration on it. But I'm just gonna show you my version of it and my, my way of doing it, uh, probably like hers. But <laughs> only because that's where I learned it from. I mean, I have no problem giving credit to the teacher. Um, so today I pressed a bowl. I, what it is is you take two pieces of foam and you roll a slab. And I, I decided to create a, um, an outward design instead of texturing it. I left it really simple and plain. And I, uh, whether I'll leave the audio in or not, I don't know. But um, should I get the form? Anyway, I made this little bird. It was going to be a bird feeder. And there's a lid, and then there's the bottom. And then I was going to put wire in between it. So I used the lid of this bisque bird feeder as my press mold. So what I did is I laid the slab out, all pre-cut in the design, and I pressed it in and made my bowl for today. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, yeah, I'll share it with you at the end. And now we let it firm up. So it's just waiting now. Still might be a tad bit. What I'm gonna do is set this in the center. This is made out of bisque. It's it's actually a roof to a a birdhouse, a bird feeder that I'm I'm making. Um, I'm gonna be glazing it anyway, so I really don't care if the bisque part of it gets messed up. And actually I just realized this will help me find the center of my bowl when when I'm all done. But I think this is still, I don't know if the form will stay. It's gotta be pretty, it's gotta be firm, but not hard. Well, I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, ready? Anna, come on. I think it looks good. Okay, here it is. I love the shape of this. I really do. And I don't always say that about everything, but I was really excited how this turned out. There's some lines. I don't know if in the picture that I took you can see it. There's some fine lines in there that the, the rim of the mold made. And I left them in there because I really liked it, including the dot. There's a hole in the top of the bird feeder lid that was going to be where I hang the string. And I thought, well, it'll just tell me where the center of the bowl is. But the dot itself even looked nice with it. So I'm really happy with this bowl. Uh, it's simple, it's smooth, and it is really fast. It's, you know, it's having your leather hard clay, or not leather hard, that's too, that's too hard. Having your slab at the right moment is what's really important, important with this um, technique, because if it's too soft and you press it, it'll just flop back down. If it's too hard and you press it, it's going to crack. So those are so those are a couple things that you need to look for if you're planning to do this method. But um, the deeper 
the foam, the deeper the bowl. That's important too. Yeah, I, I stacked up two of them because I didn't want the bottom form to end up on the table. I wanted to go as deep as I could go with this clay. Mine was a, a little on the soft side, so it opened up more, but if I had had it more firm, it could have, it would have been a little bit deeper, the bowl itself. So, hope you enjoyed today. I enjoy press molding. Give it a try if you've never tried it before. Look down below in the resource of the pro that I found that taught me how to do it. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.